Egypt is known for its sunshine, one of the big attractions for tourists. But this past week or so, we have had clouds, heavy rains, and bone-chilling winds. The reason behind last week's cold wave is what we call the Cypress Low. It's when the atmosphere's temperature in that region radically drops. It usually lasts just three days, but unfortunately it has lasted a whole week this year. Therefore the temperature low is harsher than any year. That's part of the effect of the global climate change. It reached just four degrees in Cairo last week. Around the mountains of St. Catherine near the Red Sea, it was zero. For Egyptians, that is particularly archaic type conditions. It's the first time in my life to see such extreme weather. I am 33 years old. I've never seen a winter like this. It's exceeded the expectations of everyone. It's of course out of our hands, but the weather is changing. The Hivran has destroyed many houses in my village. Many people can't find help. The cold last week was unbearable. Last year, it was just two or three days. This year, it lasted much longer. I put on layers of clothes. We lit fire and grilled sweet potatoes to keep warm. Most people here are not prepared for the cold. Few homes have insulation and many people are too poor to buy blankets. So even a short cold snap can create real suffering. The sun has finally appeared, spreading its warmth across the country. But winter is not over yet. There's still one more cold wave expected in February, and the Meteorological Authority can't predict precisely how harsh will it be. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.